Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now this will be for the 23rd to the 29th of May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Now, what I have done is pre shuffled these cards before, so we'll do them on camera in a minute. And I've done the same as the last couple of weeks where I've got the Oracle cards shuffled, they've come out, so we've got them sorted so we can make these readings a bit quicker. Okay, let's start. So it looks like you're focusing on your home and your work right now. Um, maybe finances, um, something you're passionate about. Um, but I feel like everything looks okay. From these cards here, regarding work and, I mean, uh, they're both upright. They're both, they're both looking okay. Um, you know, that's what your focus is right now. You know, you've got your work that you're passionate about, you know, teamwork, success, you know, all those things that are really good, getting your finances going. And then you've got your home where you're feeling safe. You've got this togetherness. You can relax. You can unwind. You've both, like, there's two, diff there are two different parts of your life right now. The two things you're focusing on, which is great. For some of you, there could be a male... Or a masculine energy involved in that you may even have kids or you've got this family unit unit a friendship you know a union you've got togetherness so take as resonates for you okay oops i feel like i mean this card okay that just happened for a reason i was taken for a reason but it's like you two are best friends it's like You've got relax, everything's okay, best friends, wish upon a star. So whether something was guided to you, bought to you for a reason, but it's like wish upon a star, you can manifest whatever it is you want. So whether, you know, you're not feeling like or you're worried that everything wasn't okay, it says relax, everything's okay, which is good. The other two that fell out, on top of that was um, actually I don't really feel like they're important I feel like you just needed to see those others now the two when I shuffled you've got true yes what you're asking about is the truth and you've got love the answer that you're seeking is love and that's in reverse I feel like this is definitely guided to you because of the the other cards that I just said. You know, that they appeared for a reason. And, you know, you can manifest whatever you want with this person. Whether for some of you, you're not... I don't feel like you're actually looking. I feel like you found this person... That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that you you, you know... You're not really seeking love anymore because I feel like you have it with this person. Um, I don't feel like that's, that's, yeah, I don't, for me, the, the feeling is that you don't need to worry. You're not having to seek is it love because you know it is. That's that's what I'm getting. Um, you don't really feel like there's any action being taken right now though. Um, 
I even see eight, tw number 28, eight and two is 10 and tens are about, you know, like completing a cycle, right? So you complete the cycle, you go back, like in tarot, you complete a cycle and then you go back and you learn another lesson. There's definite synchronicities. You're weaving this web. Um, that's funny. Eight and two is ten, and you've got nineteen. Nine and one is ten. Two tens. So whether somebody was making false promises or you've survived, possibly situations maybe where there has been people who had a lot of false promises and. They never took any kind of action before. But because they're both 10, like two 10s, I'm just getting that that's something that you've, you've learned from. You've completed that lesson now. So you don't have to keep on repeating the lesson. I didn't look at these. At these two numbers, 15 and 5. So two 5s. But 15 is 5 and 1 is 6 which is about success and reward. So, you know, success and reward in, in work. And you've got five, but it's upright. There's been a lot of changes, you know, with the home. But as I said, I feel like everything's going okay there. Um, all up, that's 20 and that's about choices in partnerships and, you know, for work and home. But everything's going okay. Okay. Then we have... Um, the next deck you've got the raven which talks about magic coincidence synchronistic events that's the second time that that's come third time that that's come up you've got wish upon a star the web weaver that talks about synchronicities and now you've got the raven which talks about magic and synchronistic events with the number 10 <laughs> like one and zero is beginnings and opportunities. It's a new something, you know, that's coming in. As I said, I feel like you've gone from this situation where you've been in this past situation with people that make all these false promises to then having a new beginning as the raven. New beginning, new opportunity coming in. They're led to you. It's guided to you from the universe. Um... Focus and you've got love. So, okay, I just had another message come through. The home and the answer that you're seeking is love. Maybe you've got this, you've been focusing on your work. You have this home where you feel safe and, you know, You've got possibly a family or possibly not. Maybe the one thing you've been missing is true love. Because you've had these situ these situations where, as I said to you, they make a lot of false promises. There's no action ever taken. And it's like you've now got a new beginning. That's the other message that I just got. Um, and the new beginning is going to be changing your focus to love so it works okay you know works going fine you've, you've got the finances and now and you've got this happy home you know now you just need to add the love to it because that's all about a com like completing um accomplishing something is nine 45 five and four is nine and three and three 33 is six and six is about success and reward so you're changing your focus because you want to have something be successful. And it's going to be in love. And as I said, you've got this new synchronistic events. You've got magic. It's like wish upon a star. You've been guided. Like I said, there's all these synchronistic events happening for you. I think there's something coming in. I feel like, I feel like something's changing in the universe. I don't know whether it's some sort of moon or what's going on. I don't really follow that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I just feel like there's something. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so yeah, you've got some choices. You're going to have to decide what it is you want. So either buy, you know, pros and con list or maybe, you know, you flip a coin for some people if that's what you choose. Um, you know, it's like a 50-50 chance. You can't decide. You've got to take a chance. It's kind of unpredictable. What do you want to do? It's about a choice in a partnership because it's number two. But you do have success and victory, like I keep saying. You've also got seven, fairy tale. So happily ever after. It's about romantic ending. Believe the impossible. Look at that. Believe in the impossible. And you've got situation is happening now. So something's coming, as I said, to... <laughs> What am I saying? I'm saying all these things and they're like right here in all the cards. They're all telling you the exact same thing. People have some interesting things going on. You've even got completion, cycle completion, emptiness, endings, beginnings. New life. Something's going on in the universe. Okay, let's see what the two that came out were. Yeah, you've got some sort of completion, which is really good. You're, fine, you're ending this chapter. And as I said, that's about, nines are about climaxes and accomplish, you know, something. You're learning. You're definitely having this outcome. You're, you have this finale, this completion, so you can then have a new beginning. Um, Someone may communicate on social media or they're going to take some sort of action. Whether it's over a microphone, maybe it's karaoke, maybe it's, you know, something like that. Or it could be um, maybe this person's a public speaker or they message you on social media or they communicate with you in some way. Maybe that's their job. I don't know. And that's why there's the masculine energy. Doesn't have to be male, just masculine energy. Um, what have you got here? Cardinal the first. Beginnings. Start of the season. Yes, take inspired action. I mean, <laughs> holy crap. I cannot. Yeah, new experience, leader, ideas, beginnings, something's going to ignite something. Like, I could not pick these cards more perfect. Beginnings, look, child, beginnings. You've got the clover, luck. Something's about to start happening. And you've got the queen of air. Within two to four weeks during the winter, within two to four weeks or during the winter, or between January 22nd to February the 21st, and it's the same as the star, so it could be an Aquarius. It's about having hope, having faith, wishing upon a star, like I keep saying, this is being guided, this is the universe giving you something, someone. For those of you that are looking for love, my God, keep the faith, put out what it is you want, strong emotions, desire, driving force, unbridled sexual energy, oh hello, unleash the inner beast. <laughs> Stallion. <laughs> Number four, stability, foundation, planning. Someone's going to maybe message you and be like, hey, how are you doing? Let's go on a date. Oh, let's get some tarot. I want to find out more. Tell me more about uh, Leo. That's uh, awesome. Got some good things coming in, Leo. Okay, tell me more about these cards. I want to know, I want to know. Okay, two more. Oh, you've got a whole heap more than two. Okay, 
Let's have a look. Okay, you really, uh, the one thing I want to say so far, just from looking for like two seconds, is you need to stop focusing on the negative. And as I said, I know you've been in these situations with these people that, that you know, give you these false promises and they don't take any action, you know, with you and They don't really love you, you know, those kind of situations, but you've got to stop focusing on that because you know why? Everything happens for a reason and generally it's because something better is coming. So look for the hidden blessings with the five of cups. You know, yeah, you've been through this emotional loss, but you know what? Things are going to start getting a whole heap better for you from what I can see. Um, yeah, just at the moment, focus on your self-worth. Okay, so let's have a look. You've got possibly taking some time to kind of rest, you know, recuperate, meditate, look at whatever inner fears you have, kind of, you know, just retreat and rest and, and, and deal with all of that. You know, maybe you need to take a vacation. Maybe you just need a break. Maybe you're feeling mentally exhausted. Maybe you need more sleep. Whatever this is, just take some time. Maybe even do the meditation. As I said, I feel like that could help a lot. Um, yeah, because you, you're definitely exhausted. You've got the seven of wands in reverse. You're overwhelmed, you're indecisive. You just want to give up. But at the same time, you're not standing up for yourself. I don't know if you you choose your battles wisely either, but you're not really standing up for yourself. And all of that uh, is part of your learning. It's about, you know, yeah. I want to say it's just about, you know, you learning, but maybe also for some of you, you're focusing on your career. And that's why you've been focusing on your work, because things in your love life weren't working out. Um, so, yeah, you tra you're transforming. You're, you've realized, you know, you sever ties with people that just were not for your highest good, um, who were selfish. And, you know, you just decided to spend some time alone with the hermit. Um, and focus on your work, which is what I set up on the first cards. You know, your work-wise, you're, you're going good. Um, but yeah, you with the Two of Swords, you know, you've been in, in a stalemate place. You don't want to release something. You're indecisive. At the same time, you're in denial. Um, because maybe your head's saying one thing, your heart's saying another. You're like, I don't know, I can't really make a decision. Um... But at the same time, maybe you're like, you don't stop thinking about it. You're possibly overanalyzing it. Maybe pretending there is no problem. But as I said, they just, these situations just haven't worked out the way you'd hoped. But it's for a reason. Because I feel like these situations are probably very toxic. Um... But with the five, oh, the five of swords in reverse talks about you either feeling defeated or, you know, and you have a loss. So you keep having these people that you like end up losing. But I mean, realistically, these, some of these people want to, you know, get back or you still want to go back with these people even though it's a toxic situation. Yeah, none of wands. You're feeling worn out. You're feeling beaten down. You're feeling like you have to make a stand. And it's going to take courage. It's going to take persistence. It's going to take 
putting up your boundaries and having the strength to keep on persisting, keep on keeping on, you know, um, and realizing that you can only control you. You can only control how you respond. You can't control how another person responds. You know, you're not you're not in control of anyone else but you. Just like they can't control you unless you let them. It's about self-control. It's about maturity. It's about wisdom. It's about balance. Patience. Maybe for someone you've got to do some sort of yoga. That might help as well. Okay. Um, for some people though, yeah, like these people want to get back with you and, you know, as I said, it's a toxic situation that clearly is not leading you anywhere good. Um, but you need to believe that there's going to be a better way that's going to make you happier. And, and maybe that's got to do with your own self-respect, your own self-confidence, because you've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you need to believe that you deserve better. And look, you've got the Queen and the King. One's in reverse, the Queen. You know, you can't be with your person who are not these people, but you can't be with your peak, your person until you've done this work on yourself to realize you deserve better because you don't want to let something go. And whether it means you, you know, I, don't, I don't mean you're still dating this person. I just mean that you feel like there's unfinished business or you're resisting a change instead of letting something go even just in your heart or Whatever, you know, you're holding on to these people. And these people are probably karmic because one's in reverse. You're right, person. Once you work on yourself, there is going to be somebody coming in that's going to be like, the king of wands somebody who as i said could be a motivational speaker with i said that over here with the microphone they could be some sort of theatrical person or inspiring person a you know in the spotlight a public speaker um something like that At the moment, it could be a person, though, that's holding on to these, these situations that aren't good for you because you don't want to be alone. So maybe you need to look at that. Maybe that's part of the, part of the issue. Um, maybe you need some self-discipline. You know, maybe there's lack of direction. It can't be successful, though, or you can't have success unless you make some changes. And you've got to have drive and, you know, determination, willpower, take back control. And then here is someone new coming in. Loyal, dedicated, protective. They may be slow moving, but it's going to be about waiting for perfect timing. It's about you've got someone guiding this person to you for somebody um, or some people, maybe someone on the other side. Maybe this person is a huge animal lover. Um, maybe they have horses. Maybe they just like they're a bit of a, I don't know, a farmer for some people. There's something to do with animals and, and you know, Ace of Cups. 
Someone, yeah, somebody's giving to other people. Look after yourself. You're in one-sided relationships. Um, but, yeah, you're going to have to make some sort of lifestyle change. And you've got the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, somebody that's good with money. Maybe even, look, and they've even got a cow, possibly. As I said, could have a farm, could have a dog, just an animal lover. Maybe they like cake. They have the finer things in life is what I, what I just heard. You know, they, they don't, they're not short a penny. And you've got the sun card and you've got, yeah, you've got to put a death to situations where there's third parties um, because you are going to have a new start and it is going to turn out fine you have got the world as well so endings will bring new beginnings so yeah everything else is is good you know i feel like there's new love coming in for you um get rid of these people that make the false promises though anyway that's what i have for you leo i hope that resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you with the next read thanks for watching bye